with the end zone out the tunnel, the second ranked Florida Gators. Tonight, here at Jordan Hare Stadium, the number two team in the nation, the Florida Gators, and they have been difficult to play both home and on the road in town to take on the home standing Tigers. Carter and Hood, the two deep men. short. Going to come down to the seven-yard line, and this is Hood. Carter blocking in front of him, take it to the 22-yard line. Ball is loose, and they still scramble for it. It will stay with the Auburn Tigers. Now let's check with the third member of our uh, team. Here's a line to keep this opening drive going. You see the blitz. Campbell steps up, going to be hit, and he will be sacked back at the 21-yard line. And it's going to be kicking time as Travis... Two games in a row that Murphy has had to start. Grossman on second down. Delivers over the middle. Got him wide open. And that is Taylor Jacobs. And he will go inside the... Th the win in our microphone. It is really gusting here. Here comes an all-out blitz. Grossman's pass well underthrown and incomplete. And a standing ovation for this Auburn defense. Chandler with that attempt of 45 yards. Wind at his back. So he's got plenty of distance and he's got plenty of accuracy. Florida goes on the scoreboard first. So we'll take a timeout with the 11 minutes with the kickoff. This one much longer coming down to Campbell at the goal line. Carter, I beg your pardon. Carter. Carter's the man who broke the long run against LSU here last year and he's going to take it all the way down to the 32-yard line of Florida. Darrell Dixon made a touchdown six. They need to take it to the Gator 23-yard line. That's Moore in motion. He got him open as a safety bound. Now Campbell runs and throws against the grain. That one's going to be incomplete. And a very difficult throw because the closer he got to the 45-yard attempt. Good pass. Plenty of distance. And plenty of accuracy. I'll tell you, that is a heck of a boot, folks, into a win. Second down and 14. Grossman's pass, got it complete, bounces off the tackle, this is Perez, and Perez is on his way, loses the ball, they say, look, it's down, they're going to mark him down at the 48-yard line, and just like that, this is the reason, folks. Grossman sets up the middle screen, Gillespie bounces it to the outside, has 10, and now counted off at 12, maybe 13 yards in last week's game, down Short drop, quick throw. Caldwell gets it to the outside, and yards after the catch is where Caldwell really can get out to take it down to the 29-yard line to get the first. Short drop, under pressure, fumbles the ball, and Grossman makes the recovery at the 45. It's Rashad Walker, who was coming on a blitz, who not only that this punt from Duval is going to come from five yards deep in his end zone, and he does not get off a good punt here. Line drive. Lido Shepard tries to take it to the right, cuts it up the field, and he's loose. At the 25-yard line and down to the 23-yard line as the tackle is made by Dansby. Position because of a second bad punt by Damon DeVall. Grossman looks for the end zone, and it is going to be intercepted by 36 Robert Hood. for the Auburn Tigers tonight as you see McIntyre in motion to the top of your screen. Right up in the middle, wow, Carter had it in his hands and Carter also might have been looking to Travis Carroll, number and they are aroused at the way this defense is playing the number two team in the nation. Grossman, incomplete looking from Gillespie again and very dangerous as it went off. Daniel Cobb in the ball game for his second series. Sets in the pocket, got a man open on the near sideline, and caught by the running back, Moore. Natillo made the tackle. That is a really nice going blitz. And they back off of that, but they do bring the linebacker, and the ball is on. What a one-handed catch by DeAndre Green. The sophomore out of pitcher going to go for it on fourth down and three. They need to take it to the 19-yard line. 
Zings this one. Has it complete? Incomplete. Did he hold on? They're going to give it They're to him. They're going to give it to him. They're going to give him complete. Second and short. They'll go with the running play again. Has the first down and more inside the five. And it's more. It'll be first down and goal. Auburn Tigers will spot it at the three. Todd Johnson. Same play, other side. Florida got penetration. He's not going to score. Mike, what do you do? You kick the field goal or you try it again? I don't think you're going to win with field goals against Florida. Fourth down and goal. Just inches away for the Auburn Tigers. Quarterback sneak. Touchdown. And now a late flag came into the stack. You know, one thing I, I see on a lot of these that normally don't come, although I said they've had some problems with penalties this year, maybe just a little bit lack of focus. But right now, we'll take a time. 10-3, our score, Auburn. The pitch goes back to Gillespie, runs it right back into the middle of the field, and I'll tell you what, he didn't get the first down. The linesman says it is at the 29 and mistakes by Florida here yep. in the first half. Yep, and the head ball coach is not real happy about it over there. Brown with the handoff right up the middle, has five, has ten, and he's up to the races. They will tackle him at around the 40. So it's first and ten. About to go in their eight minutes left to play in his opening hand. Number two Florida struggling with the Auburn Tigers here on the play. Pass over the middle, got him open, has it complete. That's 81 McIntyre. Cobb sets deep in the pocket, no pressure on him, and the ball thrown behind the receiver. Flag is down, and that's thrown deep in the first half of this ball game tonight. Auburn shifting around on defense. Blitz is on pass, got it complete to Gaffney, and that will be enough for another Florida first down as they, right now, 24 until halftime. The number two team in the nation trying to go in with at least a tie at halftime. Grossman goes up on top with the long ball, and it is just a little too far as the flag goes down. Gaffney working against Carlos Rogers, and let's see who they're going to call the pass interference. On the defense. Penalty's 15 yards, automatic first down. As you might imagine, second down and seven. Grossman sets, he's under pressure again, gets it off to Gillespie, turns it up the middle, and he is going to be close to a first down, although his knee touched just shy of the 20-yard out. Grossman wants to throw on third and short, zings it, and got it complete, and that's Caldwell. And that silences the crowd as they are going into the end of the field. Third down. They need to take it down to the five-yard line to pick up the first down. Grossman sings this one way too tall at the five, looking for Taylor Jacobs. His first one tonight, he made one from 45. Plenty of foot into this one, and he's got it. Have the home run potential with the, all the talent that they possess. Grossman zips this one complete. And right now, Rashe Caldwell is the man who's lighting up the secondary. Yeah, they, they look a different. On nine. Grossman got it complete. That's Jacobs. Taylor Jacobs, the junior out of Monticello. Borderline. Pressure off the corner. Thrown in the middle. It's intercepted. Philip Payne. the top of your screen that's who the pass is for not turning around quickly enough Lido Shepard with the cover from 43 blitz pressure off the corner got him Rache Caldwell and how cool is that by a quarterback it's got people just we are back is complete to Caldwell, and he is going to take it enough for the first down to the 20-yard line. We are under eight minutes to play third quarter. Linebackers stay at home. They show blitz. Grossman near sideline. Got it. Touchdown, Caldwell. Grossman was patient. 
Johnson on that drive. Chandler with the extra point attempt, and he knocks it home. So there's a timeout on the field. 7.48 remaining, a third quarter, third down and 13. The line to make is the 46-yard line of Florida. Hit as the ball is thrown. Good pressure by Mike Natiel, and he interrupted everything. It's fourth down. Going to the man we were talking about, Gaffney, and Gaffney was open. Callier with pressure for the Florida Gators tonight, and again, Matt Leach has to do his job to Hood. Low pass, and it goes between his legs. He has hit. The ball is loose. First and goal, Auburn. Do you run? I think it's a play-action pass here, Ron. They got a tight end. They got 69, and there's a tight end, which leads you to believe it's going to be a run then. Cobb spins, hands it off. It is a running play. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Auburn. Butler. Side, and they went the opposite way, didn't they? Extra point attempt by Duvall. Kicks it up, and it's good. Don't go away. 14 minutes. Back on top of number two floor. Ball is tipped and it's intercepted. That's Sauer. scored the touchdown just a few moments ago. Radliff in motion. Butler gets the ball hit behind the line of scrimmage and being driven back to the 20. And LC forward progress. He will lose to the 17. Manuel is the man who hit him first. That's the ball from that far hash mark. Good pass. Blast it. Look at that ball hooking and it hooks right through. Vision. So the Gators down by a touchdown with 12 minutes and 22 seconds. Showing on the clock. Grossman stepping up. Drills this one long. Got a man wide open, and that's Gaffney. And he will take it the distance. 80 yards in one play. And just like that, the Florida Gators are back in this ball game. What made that play run? Rex Grossman. That was a big stop. Chandler with the extra point. He knocks it home. And with 12.09 showing on the clock, he back. Florida shows blitz, and they come with it right up the middle. That's Carroll pumping, being hit, gets it away, and got it to his tight end. That's Diamond at the 42-yard line, or make it the 38, and is going to be tackled there. Great from the shotgun, Daniel Cobb, transfer from the University of Georgia. Retreats, lost this one. Fade off far side line, got it to his running back more. Got linebacker coverage on Travis Carroll, and that was a put. And stopped Auburn, forcing them to kick a field goal. Can they do it again? Here comes the pressure. Pass is caught. First and goal, Auburn. Carnell Williams out of the backfield. Hit from behind, fumbles the ball, kicks it in, it's recovered by Florida in the end zone. That's a touchback. Alex Brown. Expect big plays. The amazing thing here is with the ball being kicked forward and recovered in the end zone, Todd Johnson makes the recovery. Third down. They need to take it to the 30-yard line. Here comes the blitz. He is hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. And that's Reggie Torber as soon as it went through the uprights. They need at least 25 yards here to get down the field. Moore loses the ball, recovered by Florida. Mike Natiel, two turnovers, 
in the last two minutes by the Auburn Tigers. Taylor Jacobs move up, but I guess they didn't say, and they said that he was not on the line of scrimmage. That's the reason for the flag. Grossman going to go deep with this one. Intercepted. That's Dansby. this year as Auburn has the ball and they're trying to snuff out this drive. Got it right over the middle and that's Diamond the tight end across the 35 and out to the 40 yard line. Hartman on the tackle but it's a first second down and seven. Cobb far sideline has it complete gets by one tackler gets by a second McIntyre will have another first down for Auburn. Two minutes and 33 seconds deep man to tailback he gets the handoff nothing in the middle gets to the outside on the left and gets by another tackler 40 down to the 35 and that may be enough for another first down the auburn tigers 20. and they'll go with the running play williams hit behind the line of scrimmage and i'll tell you they're going to have to kick it from a couple of yards farther away at the 34 yard line 44-yard attempt from square in the middle of the field. Damon DeWall, can he win it for the Auburn Tigers? Good pass. Ball is down. Hooking right through. He got it. Rolls the pocket. Flag is down. Now laterals it back. Picked up by Starks. And Starks is tackled, and the game is over. We do have a flag on the play. Students are running on the field. Bill Goss. Come on. 